Hi, I'm Christy Bilbrey. I'm a marketing strategist and brand story coach. I'm doing a Canva tutorial today. So for everyone who asks me, what can I do if I don't know Photoshop and I don't have the money to hire a graphic designer, but I really need some great graphics for social media or my social media banners at the top of the screen or my website or letterhead, there is a wonderful free tool for you and it's canva.com. So I recommend that you go there and check this out. Everything that we're gonna do right here today is with a free account so you'll be able to do anything and you'll see all the options that we see when we go through this. So let's get started. The first thing that you're gonna do once you go to the site and create your free account is go up to this top left green button, create a design. And when you do that, you're gonna see a lot of options pop up. You can create a social media post. You can make specifically a Facebook post and you can see that the pixel size is already formatted specifically for that. Posters, um, you know, Twitter, Instagram, if you keep scrolling down, ebook, blogs, album covers, gift certificates, there's a ton of presets that you can take advantage of. So what I often use is, or actually, if you don't find the exact size that you need for whatever it is you're creating, come up to the top right and click on custom dimensions. You can enter in the width and height that you're looking for and whether that's pixels, millimeters, or inches and just click design. But what I usually do is an Instagram post. So we are going to do that today. So when you click on that, you'll see it brings up a fresh, bright new canvas for you to create whatever you want. And I'm going to take you through on the far left, a lot of options. We're going to go through all these different options from the bottom to the top. So let's start with uploads. You can click on the button and upload any image you want, or, you know, I already have some in here. You can just click one that I already have, resize it by grabbing any of these four corners, and then just drag it wherever you want it to be in your image. So that is uploads. And then if we go right above that, we're gonna go to background. So maybe we don't want to upload an image, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. And in background, you can choose any color you want. Just click it and there it is. Or you can go down here and let's say, actually, let's first go to the plus sign. So if you know you want red, but you don't really want this color, you click the plus sign and you can either make it same, similar but darker or brighter. You can also, if you have an exact color code, you can just type that in there or you can use this color wheel and just drag it wherever you want it to go, whatever color you are looking for. So I'm gonna leave it there for now. You can also click on a pattern. A lot of these are free. So you can check those out if you want as well. Up above background is text. And there are three main options. Well, they do also give you a lot of freebies to play around with that are different combinations. I usually just create my own and you have headings, subheadings, and a little bit of text. And you can move these wherever you want on your canvas. So I'm probably not gonna be using a little bit of text. So I'm just gonna select it and delete it. And I'm probably not gonna use subhead either. For this, we're just gonna focus on heading. So when you select heading, then you can type in hello or whatever you wanna type in. Then you can go up here and you see a lot of options for you while this is selected. That means you can edit what you have selected with any of these tools. So the first is font type. When you click that drop down, you can scroll and see there's a ton of different fonts. One that I use a lot is Bevis New. So I'm just gonna go to that. But you'll see how tiny this looks on that image. So I wanna bump up the size. The next over is the size and you can scroll, let's see. This has 144, but you can go in there and just type in a larger size even though it doesn't show up on the list. So you're not limited to just what's in the list. Now I want you to see the grid line that popped up in the middle of the screen so you know that you're middle aligned and you know that you are center aligned so you're perfectly in the middle and it has those great grid lines that show you that. Next over is color. So maybe you don't want to have black. 
maybe you want to have yellow. And just like with the background, you can click the plus sign and you can find whatever color you want. And now you'll see all our options went away. Where did all those options go? Well, nothing is selected right now. So you need to select whatever you want to edit and then you'll see the options show up again. Next over is bold italics. Now, not every font type will let you make it bold or italicized. So it just depends on the font. Then you have this option if you want it center aligned, right aligned, left aligned, if you want uppercase or lowercase, if you want bullets, and you can even change the spacing between the letters like that, or between we don't have multiple lines, but you can change uh, if we had multiple lines, the space between those. So a lot of great options. So that is text. Moving above that is elements. There are a ton of elements. Let's click on free photos and you can type in a search for whatever you want or just go with what they have. And so when we go into free photos, oop, there we go, we're back. Then, um, and this will change. So these aren't always the exact same photos right where you found them. So let's say we want to, we want to add this aerial shot of these trees and we want to add it right here. Well, that's great, but now it's blocking our text. So we do have this option on the top right where you can arrange and just push it to the back. So now we can still see our text and we have our background and we have this image. And one more thing I wanna show you just to the right of that is transparency. So watch what happens when I drag this over. Now you're starting to see some of the orange come through from beneath. So it still shows that aerial shot, but you can see some of the orange and you can make it as much or as little as you want. So we're just gonna leave it like that for now. And I wanna come back up to elements. If you wanna add a bunch of photos, they have different grid options, frames you can use around it, illustrations, lines. I'm gonna to go to shapes. One shape I use all the time just to create a simple text box is this rectangle. And I click it, brings it up. I can resize it by dragging any of the points that you see. So I just wanna have it over the word hello. But again, the problem is it's covering the text. So I am gonna go up to, oops, I'm not going to transparency, I'm going to arrange, and I'm gonna send it to the back. So now I can see my text again. So it's a really handy tool. But let's say uh, we have this black box selected. I don't want it to be black, I want it to change. So you can just click on this color tile and you can change it. Maybe we want it to be gray. Maybe we want it to be blue. So you can make that whatever you want. And there, that's elements. You can do quite a bit in elements. And then finally is layout. So if you don't want to do the work of putting all this together, you can find a layout that you already like and then just add your own picture, change out the text. Um, so that that's another option for you. Then when you're done with everything, you can change the title if you want, if you're going to be coming back to this, which I'll leave it for this, and click download. You can save it as a PNG, as a JPEG, as a PDF, whatever you want. Just click download. That is really it. It's that simple and you can design whatever you need. So there's one more thing that I want to show you and that is on the main page. So on the main page, you can come down to all your designs on the left and this design that we just created, it's still populating it. You can click this arrow and go to make a copy. If you want, if you want to create a template so that you don't have to recreate the wheel every time, let's say you design something that is something that's gonna be similar that you're gonna want to come back to again and again and just make little edits. This could be letterhead, this could be whatever. You would just click make a copy and then you still have the old and you have the new. You just change the name of it from hello to goodbye, whatever it is. And then you just click into it and you can go ahead and make those changes that you have without affecting the original and without having to recreate the wheel. So this is a really great tool. I hope you guys will check it out and enjoy it. Please let me know if you have any questions below 
and don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you on here again soon.